if degree of numerator and degree of denominator is same each degree each term is having same degree power 1 power 1 power 1 power 1 so you can see both numerator and denominator are having same degree therefore it is homogeneous every term in numerator and denominator should have same degree x into y means x power 1 y power 1 put together two wheels i am separating the variables denominator 1 plus we bring this side it will become into 1 minus we bring this side it will become divided by x transfer that side now integrate both sides. Welcome to the session dear students. In today's session, we will go ahead with differential equation that is homogeneous equations. So now x is 9.5 in each of the x is 1 to 6 show that the given differential equations are homogeneous and solve. How to prove homogeneous? Make dy by dx a subject. Once you make dy by dx a subject, if degree of numerator and degree of denominator is same, then we say homogeneous or each term should have same degree other way of telling. So now I'll write dy by dx, I'll bring dx to the side is equal to x square plus y square divided by x square plus xy can I write. Now you should take highest degree term common. What is highest degree term? x square. If I take common it will become 1 by y by x the whole square. It will be 1 plus y by x the whole square. So now y by x like that we can convert it into g of y by x are simple. See what is degree of this to degree of this term to degree of this term to degree of this term is x into y we put together we say, say every term should have same degree that is the other way. So x power 1 y power 1 put together it will be 2. We are not using law of indices. Say here we take x square common so it become 1 plus y by x the whole square denominator again if I take x square common it will become 1 plus y by x. So it is in the form of x power n x power 0 I can write for g of y by x. So therefore it is homogeneous. So in spite of writing so much simple conclusion you can do. What is the conclusion? I wrote so much not required. So directly write dy by dx is equal to what is left out x square plus y square divided by x square plus xy. So degree of this is 2, degree of this is 2. Both are having same degree. If both are having same degree, we call them as homogeneous. Since numerator and denominator are of same degree. Therefore homogeneous. We can write them further, we can write them as x power n g of y by x. See now the method is simple. First you can take highest degree term common. If you take highest degree term common, g dy by dx is equal to x square, I will take it out, it will become 1 plus y square by x square. Here x square if I take it out, it will become 1 plus uh, y by x x square cancel so dy by dx can be written as 1 plus y by x the whole square by 1 plus y by x now this is homogeneous so therefore x power 0 i can write it's homogeneous of degree 0 so therefore now how to solve this we already concluded so how to solve this we got dy by dx is equal to 1 plus y by x the whole square by 1 plus y by x the whole square by 1 plus y by x. Put this as v. v is equal to y by x or y is equal to vx. Rearrange. Put y is equal to what? vx. So differentiate both sides with respect to x. Then LHS becomes dy by dx. RHS becomes d by dx of vx. You know d by dx of vx we can use what? Product rule. So LHS is dy by dx. RHS V into derivative of X is 1 plus X into DV by DX. So now call it as 2. Call this as 1. So substitute 2 in 1. Put 2 equation 2 in 1. So equation 1 becomes. So in spite of DY by DX we can put V plus X into DV by DX is equal to 1 plus. I told you Y is equal to VX or V equal to what? Y by X. In the place of Y by X put what? V. V square by 1 plus V. Now transfer v term to that side so it will become x dv by dx is equal to 1 plus v square by 1 plus v minus v. Now further take LCM it will become 1 plus v 1 plus v square minus v plus sorry minus v square. So now 
Okay. I told you. So now what you should do? dy by dx is equal to we have 1 plus y by x the whole square by 1 plus y by x we have. So you can see the term y by x. So I'll assume this y by x is v or y becomes what? Vx. Now differentiate both sides with respect to x. If you do that LHS becomes dy by dx. Let this be equation 1. So LHS is dy by dx. dy by dx RHS product will v into derivative of x is 1 plus x into dv by dx. So call it as equation 2. Now substitute equation 2 in 1. So put 2 in 1. So then it will become dy by dx. In spite of dy by dx, we will write v plus x into dv by dx is equal to 1 plus v square by 1 plus v. That is x into dv by dx is equal to 1 plus v square by 1 plus v minus v. Take LCM so it will become 1 plus v 1 plus v square minus v minus v square. So plus v square minus v square cancels it will become 1 minus v by 1 plus v. This is x into dv by dx. Now do separation of variables. So dv let it be bring this set so it will become 1 plus v by 1 minus v into dv is equal to dx you transfer to RHS dx by x. I am separating the variables. Denominator 1 plus v bring this side, it will become into 1 minus v bring this side, it will become divided by x transfer that side. Now integrate both sides. So how to integrate? All of you know, can I write it as integration of 1 by 1 minus v? Sorry, here 1 minus v you can see, but here plus v is there. So what we do is, 1 I will write it in terms of 2 minus. So here the trick is writing 1. See, denominator is 1 minus, but numerator is 1 plus. So, can I write the numerator 1 as 2 minus 1 and remaining plot plus v, dv and uh, dv. Integration of RHS is easy, log x plus 1 integral constant. Now, further, 2 let it be minus I'll take common. So, it will become 1 minus v divided by 1 minus v dv is equal to log x plus c. So, further, can I write it as 2 divided by 1 minus v minus 1 minus v by 1 minus v integration dv is equal to log x plus c. Further, 2 constant take it out integration of 1 minus v is log of 1 minus v minus these two I will cancel integration of dv is v is equal to what log x plus c and substitute for v. v is what? You know v is equal to y by x. So it will become 2 times log of 1 minus y by x minus y by x is equal to log x plus c. Further, if you want, you can simplify. So next problem, would y dash, what is meant by y dash? dy by dx is equal to what? x plus y divided by x. So you can see both numerator and denominator are having same degree, therefore it is homogeneous. So it is homogeneous. Why? Because since degree of numerator and denominator are same. So, you as usual, take a highest degree term of x common here. It will become 1 plus y by x. Denominator also, x already present. These two cancel. So, what is dy by dx? dy by dx is 1 plus y by x. So, call it as equation 1. So, now put v is equal to this uh, y by x or this y by x value whatever we have y by x take it as v take put this y by x as v or that implies what is v y x now differentiate both sides so dv by dx is equal to product of y into derivative x is 1 plus x into dy by dx call it as 2 substitute 2 in 1 then it will become dy by dx is equal to 1 plus y by x we have. So now I will substitute. So it will become what is dy by dx? y plus uh, x into dy by dx. So sorry, put what happened to here always what we will do? Put y by x is equal to v or v is equal to y is equal to vx. We say rearrange this y is equal to vx. Put v, y is equal to vx. Differentiate both sides. So dy by dx is v into derivative x is 1 plus x into dv by dx. Call it as equation 2. Substitute 2 in 1. 
So then it will become dy by dx. Instead of dy by dx, v plus x into dv by dx, v plus x into dv by dx is equal to 1 plus y by x. So now substitute v plus x into dv by dx is equal to 1 plus v and transfer v to that side x dv by dx is equal to 1 plus v minus v. I can cancel. So I'll do variable separable x by dx into dv is equal to 1. Rearrange so the d term should be in numerator. So dx comes to this side by x and dv. Now integrate both sides. Integration of dv is v. Integration of this is log x plus c and you know what is v? y by x. So y by x is equal to log x plus c or y is equal to what? x log x plus x c. Multiply x. That's it. Hope all of you understood this. Same thing, x minus y dy minus of x plus y dx equal to 0, rearrange dy divided dy uh, x minus y dy is equal to transfer that side. So it will become x plus y dx, rearrange. So dy by dx is equal to x plus y by x minus y. So each degree, each term is having same degree, power 1, power 1, power 1, power 1. So it is of same, so here it is homogeneous. It is homogeneous and take uh, highest degree term out and take y common. So 1 plus, sorry, x common, 1 plus y by x. In denominator also take x common. So it become 1 minus y by x. You can cancel x. So now the problem is just dy by dx is equal to 1 plus y by x by 1 minus y by x. As usual, call it as equation 1 and put what? v is equal to y by x or y is equal to vx, differentiate both sides. So dy by dx becomes v into derivative of x is 1 plus x into dv by dx. I am using product rule, correct as 2. So substitute 2. Now equation 1 implies, in equation 1 substitute dy by dx value. So what is dy by dx? v plus x into dv by dx is equal to 1 plus y by x. That is 1 plus y by x is v divided by 1 minus v. Now rearrange, transfer v to that side, x into dv by dx is equal to 1 plus v by 1 minus v minus v. Further, x into dv by dx is equal to, take LCM, so it will become 1 minus v, 1 plus v minus uh, v square, sorry, plus v square, v into minus into minus, minus v. Plus v minus v cancels, x dv by dx is equal to, 1 plus v square by 1 minus v. Again further, 1 minus v divided by 1 plus v square dv is equal to dx by x, rearranging. Now integrate both sides, you know, this can be written as 1 divided by 1 plus v square dv. This can be written as v divided by 1 plus v square dv. This is integration of 1 by x dx. So this is tan inverse v. This is method of substitution if you do, so it will be 2 dv, it will be dv by 2, so 1 by 2 log of 1 plus v square is equal to log x plus c. Now substitute v, v is what? y by x. So you can see v is always what? y by x. We assume v as y by x, substitute it. So final tan inverse y by x minus log of 1 plus y by x the whole square. Uh, half is there, half can be written as root is equal to log x plus c or you can further simplify. So part of you understood. So homogeneous means what you have to be, see whenever a function, homogeneous means f of x, you should be able to f of x, y. If f of x comma y, if you are able to write x power n into g of y by x or, or y power n into g of x by y, then it is homogeneous. Every term in numerator and denominator should have same degree. x into y means x power 1, y power 1 put together two we'll say. So first we shall just conclude homogeneous and put v is equal to y is equal to vx and differentiate, substitute, you'll get the answer. I hope all of you understood the homogeneous equations. I'll see you in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.